Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So for today's painting, um, uh, it might look a little bit familiar to some of you out there. So if you're a member of the Facebook art group, My Creative Year, or you're over on Patreon already, this is the painting I did for that group for July. I mean, sorry, for June, which started this idea for this whole project. So um, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, here you go. Here's the video. Welcome. Enjoy. If you choose to join me on the 30 paintings in 30 days journey, I hope that you do share and tag me in posts like on social media and stuff. Maybe film some videos, tag me in the description, something like that. Um, I am, um, kind of excited about the project. I do do daily drawing. I don't necessarily do daily painting, but making a daily practice out of something like this encourages you to um, get better at it, um, encourages you to work it into your daily routine or weekly routine. Um, it also is a way to use up supplies. So if that's your goal, uh, maybe you don't want to do 30 paintings in 30 days, but you want to do 30 collages in 30 days. That works too. So let me know. Let's get to painting and I'll see you then. Okay. So for the patrons, uh, and Patreon. I need a rag. Holy cow, I got started without a rag. That's not a good thing. I need something. All right, here we go. Uh, here's a rag. All right, so uh, for the patrons over in Patreon, um, we are going to get started with a painting using the muted gouache palette I created for my creative year. And I am gonna start with this blue that I created, this grayish blue which I really love. I'm gonna kind of water it down a bit. I'm gonna do the background first. I'm gonna spread out the pigment. I want it to be blotchy. We're gonna be doing an outdoor scene. So I don't want the, the color to be solid. I want it to be muted and blotchy, sort of like a stormy or cloudy sky. That gives you a hint about what we're doing. That actually is really good right there. So we're gonna stop there and I'm going to dry that and I'll be right back. I love the way that turned out already and we have barely gotten started. So for those of you again watching here on Patreon, we are, um, doing the talking version here for you all. Um, I do think I'm gonna try doing a 30 small paintings in 30 days series. Um, you will get the talking version here on Patreon and they will get the sped through version uh, at some point over on YouTube. I will probably talk about it on YouTube. Um, but uh, I encourage people to come over here to Patreon, but I, I don't think, I think they're going to just get the sped through version, but in any case, I hope it's um, a process people enjoy and maybe encourage them to do the same, maybe take up some kind of daily practice, whether it is actually painting or something else. So I'm adding the sort of muted pink tone. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we often get these pinkish purplish skies, which are just wonderful. And the reason I dried the blue first before I added the pink was I didn't really want them to blend together right away, but I am gonna take the leftover paint that's on the palette and mix it and get it sort of a grayish purple. Um, just to use up the paint on the palette, we do have a, a, a muted purple in our watercolor, um, which we're gonna use. So I'm gonna dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of our purple and we'll just mix it with the colors that are on here. I don't have an inspiration photo of this for this. I don't have a plan for this. I'm just winging it, just FYI. <laughs> well, this is coming out pretty good, I think. Drying it between layers so things don't mix too much. So drying it again. OK, 
Okay, now when I did reconstitute the gouache palette, I did add water to the non-muted colors, including the black and white, because I knew right away I was gonna probably at least want to put the white in. And see, I was right, because I have a tendency to um, get carried away with the color <laughs> because I'm having fun and forget to leave white space. So that's just a thing I know I do. So I'm aware of that. So that's okay. You have white gouache or if you don't have, you know, white paint, then white acrylic, white gel pen, white something. I'm loving the way this is looking, you guys. And I haven't, you notice I've used my flat brush. Now I got asked recently what my favorite um, watercolor brushes are or water, uh, what I use with my water soluble paints. Um, Princeton Neptune brushes. This is a Princeton Nef Neptune half inch flat. Um, but I have a lot of Princeton Neptune, Neptune brushes and I love them. Okay, dry in there. Okay. For the moment, we're gonna stick with a flat brush. I'm gonna grab some of the green. That was really watery. So rather than grabbing more paint, I'm gonna use what's on the page. I'm drying my brush off so it's just damp. And I'm just using the flat end of the brush and going side to side. To suggest some leaves, uh, trees in the foreground. Okay, then I'm going to go in with our dark grayish brown color. I'm going to go ahead and let it mix with the green, and I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. And I'm going to just carefully, I don't want to add too much of this. I don't want to cover up all the green. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rinse my brush off and I'm going to dry it off on the rag. I never use my watercolors or gouaches without a rag for reasons like this. Now, if you do this and it's not enough of the dark and you wanna add more, you can always go back and add more, but with watercolor, it's harder to, it's hard to take it away. So I do have a small, tiny round brush here, which I'm gonna dry off a bit so it's not too wet. I'm gonna grab some of that dark color. I'm gonna just paint a line. I need to find some of the shapes with the tiny round brush, with the detail brush. I'm also going to anchor the base of the painting with some of the dark. You notice that I'm using what paint is on the brush and I'm not constantly re-dipping and it's giving me a variation of colors, which I like. And then you can always go back again and add more. It's harder to take it away. 
That's perfect, I love that. Let's give it a dry. And let's take some of the tape off. So I'm gonna wanna leave some of the tape on because I wanna paint the other side, but we're gonna take some off so that you guys can see. Again, this is painter's tape, just regular painter's tape from the hardware store. Nothing special. It's this thin stuff that's about an inch wide. When you're working in journals, the thinner one is better. There we go. So there's our muted painting. So what do you think? I would love to see what you've done this month with muted colors, um, whether you're in the Facebook group or not, um, and um, experiment with painting. And here on Patreon, if there's other video content especially that you would like to see, um, that even if it goes up on YouTube eventually, if you would like to see it first and have more instruction, what would, that, what would you like that to be? So please let me know. All right, that's it for today. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I appreciate your support very much, and I will be back in the next video. How was that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process, and um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version. Here on YouTube, you're just gonna get the speed food through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.